looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking the best free, the 50 power players to be taken from the Fantasy Pack. If you guys haven't watched the morning video, go check it out. Went over the new power ups, went over the free Fantasy Pack. And of course, I'm going to go over the best ones to be taken from the Fantasy Pack because, as you guys do know, you are able to pick one. Now, there is one stipulation with it it does not include all 14 of them. It is going to be only six, but it's a random six. So I'm going to do my rankings out of six, and the odds of you getting at least one of those players in your pack are very high. So more than like, let's say I rank, you know, one through five, well, one through six. I'm going to be ranking out of one to six. So like I said, let's say my number three player is one of the only players you get in your list, and you take my number three player, right, if, if you agree. Now let's say you get my th my first player, my third, my six out of your six, right? Maybe you go with my first. Like, it's going to be a very... um. A very useful ranking for you guys it doesn't matter what you guys get as long as you get at least one you'll know that one of the top guys that I at least think is in there of course it's my opinion you guys can go your own route but it gives you guys some understanding as to how to look at it and then again maybe if you get another six you can look at the way I looked at my rankings based on this threshold and the stat and you can be like okay so maybe I should take this guy out of mine so I think it's very useful so remember you only get six out of these now you don't only get to, you only get to pick one but it's a random six so you can get like a, any combination of any of those six guys so it's going to be these solos, the ones you want to focus on. Play these limited time challenges to earn power players. These challenges expire at 10 a.m. Eastern time on October 21st. Now, I hope you guys sold your power ups. I did warn you in this morning video, if you had like a DRC power up or any of those guys, make sure you sold them. They were 250K and now they're like 60K. They're going down fast. But if you're going to play them, you still want to know which one's the best one to take. The video is for you, so make sure you go play through them. Get your 15 stars. And after 15 stars, you will get the 50 power fantasy pack. Now, Real quick, guys, for today's Poodle Squad shout-out, you guys know the deal. Like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. Once you do those things, you're eligible to be shouted out. And for today's uh, shout-out, we got Toxic Goo Off. Shout-out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly appreciate you for coming out each and every day. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for showing support. Now, if you guys want your own chance, you just heard the, the instructions on that. If you need coins to pick up any of these uh, any of the 50 players, once you get the power-up, you do have to complete the power-up at the, at the full player. If you want to do that and go that route, make sure you pick up coins. You can also buy the 50 players directly on Mutt Reserve down below, so head on there. Use code Poodle 50% off. Take it back. Oh, and coins were discounted even more than they already were. It's another big drop in, um, in cost, so make sure you guys take advantage of that. But that's it. Let's get into this. So, let's head over to the auction block and show you guys my top six. Now, the thing with these six, again, some of them are closer than others. Like, my first guy, I think, is my first guy by a decent amount, but everyone else is, like, a little bit more closer, so don't take the rankings, like, word for word, like, this guy's six, you have to go with my three option. Not necessarily. It also depends on your team when you look at this as well. Don't always look at it uh, from a one point of view. Make sure to change and know. Like, okay, so let's say I have two middle linebackers and one else that's left us on linebacker powered up. Maybe if my first option is a linebacker, maybe I should go with my second option, which isn't any because you don't have any, right? So coming in at number six. Now, this guy, all around, well rounded, great at what he does, and that's going to be Reggie White. Now, Reggie White, the good thing about him is that the reason he's not my top guys because powered up doesn't change his full card too much because if you power him up his full card he's already a threshold block shed threshold power move and threshold play rec so for him it's like he just gets slightly better per se but why you still on this list because let's say you can't afford reggie white and you wanted to choose his 89 power up his 89 power up is going to be an amazing still a block shedding power move and everything and wick Hems can probably still get the power move threshold so that's why he's still on there again if you want to power him all the way i don't think he's my favorite in terms of powering up all the way because again he's already like threshold but again he gets better but like i said if you can't afford him his 89 is still going to be super useful for you which is why he's on this list now moving on to number five ryan shazier now ryan shazier is on this list for two reasons first he's probably the best middle linebacker user up there like right there around queen probably better powered up and chemmed up for the full card he gets 89 speed 91 excel now speed on him and the increase does matter because he is going to get that as well as he gets 80 strength 89 tackle 89 play rec 82 blocks, 84 hit move, uh, hit power, and he gets 87 zone coverage. So it means with Kems, you'll get the zone coverage threshold, the play rec threshold, and he just increased more speed. Gonna be one of the best users in the game. Getting real close to Simmons at that point with the speed, but of course he does fall short of the height and some slow some speed. So that's why Simmons is still better. But again, there's a middle linebacker. They play different positions, better block shit, so on and so forth. Now, again, that is why I think that Shazier is number five. Now, if you want to use him as an 89 overall, it's still good because again, he's still gonna have like an 85 speed. Still gonna be really, really good. In my opinion, 86 speed, maybe. But moving on to number four. Now, number four is a guy that I think this is uh this one's tough. That's Brett Favre. Now, I think with Brett Favre is this. He can you can either use let's say a this is good for no money spent guys. Or if you're no money spent or like you can't afford Vic or you can't afford Lamar, one of those guys, 
and you want to quarterback you power him up all the way you can get him up to i believe a 90 overall far which is super accurate or in my case i think the best taste for him is powering up all the way to 93. some people don't like Vic. They, they don't like the fact that he can't hit all his throws and they don't run too much or they they fumble a lot when running so they stay away from it let's say you're a pocket passer guy or you just want the most accurate quarterback you take brett farb you power him up he'll have 94 throw power 77 speed is still pretty good 94 throw power is insane 91 short accuracy 88 medium 90 deep 91 throw power under pressure 91 throw on the run and 90 play action so he hits the play action threshold now which he didn't hit before he hits the deep accuracy threshold now and since he hits the deep you can now take play fake as your cam for your team if you do play fake he'll have above 90 medium accuracy above 90 short above 90 well he'll have like a 97 98 throw power above 90 throw out deep accuracy and above 90 play action above 91 throw on the uh, run and above 91 th uh, throw to pressure so he will be all around the best quarterback in man by a decent amount he'll be the most accurate he hits every single threshold he's a completely dominant threshold quarterback i think that is super super advantageous and beneficial to many many teams which is why i think he's up there so definitely make sure you're taking advantage of that i definitely think he's a great quarterback honestly consider i was considering switching out big for him just about accurate i think that could be super fun to play with but the scrambling is also very important in months so it comes down to what you think there next on my list is tyrone calico and tyrone calico is more of a power up guy for me so if you power up all the way 92 speed 91 jumping right athleticism check he's gonna be one of the most athletic uh, receivers catching 87 a little short but now he gets the catching traffic threshold that hits 90 90 spec catch threshold 86 short 89 medium route running and 92 deep now again i think you want to use play fake so you end up if you already have barb you have him play fake him all up he now will get the medium route running threshold he has the deep he has the spec catching traffic and his catching and shorter the only ones that don't hit it now short i don't care about catching i kind of do but catching traffic something's more important to me so again amazing he now is a good medium route runner and a deep with speed gonna be super super solid and of course he's six foot four and everything else so i think tyrone calico is another solid option next this guy's more of a user for me which is why he's so high because he doesn't have to be powered up all the way to still be useful and that's taylor mays okay, the thing with taylor mays is at 90 speed if you just get his 90 uh, his 89 overall card and you don't actually come up all, or power him up all the way he still ends up with like an 89 to 90 hit power still ends up being probably able to get the zone threshold with lockdown maxed out and still ends up with like an 87 or 88 speed and 90 tackle so he's still threshold and he's still really really good so either way i see taylor mays as a w even then but if you power up all the way it gets 91 speed 91 excel 93 tackle above 90 play rec above 90 pursuit above 80 man above 90 zone and well above 90 hit power so uh, insane he's he's literally the best he's probably the best strong safety in the game or at least tied right there with jamal adams and stuff again jamal it, jamal and him are iffy it really just depends on a few little intangible things that you want to look at there but again taylor may is one of the best options as well and then for the final guy who i think is like i said i think far and away like he's a little bit ahead of everyone else i think Favre's up there a lot though like i may even put him too low on my list because again he's a quarterback and everyone wants to be stuck with a quarterback but drc is my far and away best guy now here's the thing i'm powered up he still gets the zone man and press thresholds if you do end up going ahead and using lockdown max he still ends up he ends up like a, this is him unpowered up 89 speed 89 90 speed with with lockdown max ended up a 90 man 90 zone 90 press probably so he ends up being one of the best cornerbacks in madden as a power up now you do it all the way guys if you end up getting him all the way up which is insane 93 speed 92 excel 91 agility 92 jumping like a 93 play rec 96 man coverage 95 ish 94 zone coverage 94 95 press like the card's insane he's the best cornerback in madden by a decent amount he ends up six foot two super athletic he can catch he is like has like Deion sanders s qualities to him i think he's amazing but that's my list guys so number six we got we got reggie white Number five, Shazier. Number four, Favre. Calico. Number two, Maze. And then DRC. Now, in this order, if you want to just get their power up cards, like who do I think are the best just powered up, like 89 overall, 90 overall, not all the way? DRC, Maze, um, probably Shazier and White. I think those are my top like ones. And then I feel like Favre and Calico are more so like powered up full cards. And then in order of everything you see it here, it's number one through six. But guys, that's about it for the video. If you want a chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad in the next video, like the video, turn the noti bell, comment down below Poodle Squad. All you got to do for that, very simple, very easy instructions there. And then, of course, if you guys need coins to pick up some of these NFL 100 players to complete your power-up, or you need to buy the power-ups as well, you need more, whatever you need, or you want to pick up players, take advantage. I said coins are just discounted even more on top of the usual discounts. So, again, another course, a coin reduction there, so take advantage and use Kapoodle for an extra 15% off. It's just a great discount. That's about it. You can buy the players, training, and everything else, power-up, everything you want on there as well. So don't, 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 don't shy away. Go check out the whole, the whole inventory there, but that's about it. 
Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, this video does is helpful. Comment down below who you guys want to rank down below. Who is your top one? Comment down below your top one or even two so I can see what you guys were thinking. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.